Both the quick selection and the select color tools allow you to paint over an area to select it. I'm going to start on the original background layer again and select the sign with the quick selection tool. Notice that as I hover over the image, areas of similar color are highlighted in yellow. This is the live tracking feature, which can be deactivated down here. With this off, we don't get the highlighted preview. So if I want to select the sign, I just need to paint over it. As I paint over the sign, the quick selection tool will detect areas of similar color and sort of select those in chunks. But it also detects the edge of the sign. And unless I paint fully off the edge, it will keep the selection to just the sign. The brush size can be adjusted with the slider here or by using the bracket keys. Having a larger brush will speed up things while I'm selecting the main part of the sign, but I'll probably want to reduce the brush size when selecting the base. So once that's done, I can tweak the selection by holding down the Option key to subtract from the selection, or hold down Shift to add to the selection. And once again, I can use the selection to copy and paste the sign to a new layer. The Select Color tool will progressively select a larger range of color as you drag out from the starting point. So if I want to select the blue at the top of the sign, I can click and drag, and as I drag, the tolerance increases, selecting more and more of the blue. Go too far, and the selection is going to leak out into the sky. To get the rest of the blue over around the tree here, I'll need to hold down Shift and then select each bit of blue. When selecting details like this, use the circle at the front of the tip of the eyedropper to mark where you're starting the selection. Don't start from the eyedropper itself or the plus symbol. Now with that selected, I could paste it to a different layer or jump right into the color adjustment tool and tweak this blue color. When making selections within a photo, I tend to use these two tools more than the other selection tools, simply because they're usually faster and more accurate when selecting objects in a photo, rather than graphics or text.